Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will show you on the stepper motor position control system using LabVIEW. So in this video I will show you how we can use stepper motor as a an open loop uh, position control system. Right? So here is my front panel and you can see the stepper motor right in the corner. I have used a 360 degree uh, dial over the stepper motor right and in the spindle of the stepper motor in the shaft of the stepper motor i have connected one pointer right and it will it will show you the movement of stepper motor right how much angle it is covered it will show you everything right so let's run the vi and see the system control system right so uh, uh, I run the system, right? I run the VI. Now the this is the uh, set point uh, controller, right? So means we can give a set point angle. So for which angle we have to rotate our stepper motor, we can give the stepper motor uh, to this set point, right? And the stepper motor will move up to that angle and it will stop, right? And this is the dial which will show you the step. Uh, stepper motor rotation right and the speed where the stepper motor rotates it, the dial will move upward the stepper motor spindle right and it will show you the real time movement of the stepper motor over this angle over this dial right so this is the direction so if the stepper motor rotate in clockwise or anti clockwise direction it will show you that direction right and this is the digital display of the set point and this is the digital display of this stubborn motor angle right so what you have to do you have to give the set point and you have to click on the wrong button right so when you press the wrong button the stubborn motor will start rotating right so and there is one uh, uh, switch is there button is there which is called make it reference means right now our stepper motor is at uh, 36 degree or something right so before we use it as a stepper control position control system we have to calibrate it so we have to first align the pointer of the stepper motor to zero degree because our set point is right now at zero degree right then uh, when it will come to zero degree we will make it as a reference right so our stepper motor will rotate from that reference right and after that, whatever angle we will give through this stepper motor pointer, through this stepper motor uh, controller, while this set point controller, it will move up to that angle, right? Then there is one uh, another uh, uh, button is there, bring to reference, means wherever be the stepper motor spindle in which angle. So if you click on the bring to reference, it will automatically um, rotate the stepper motor that to uh, reference position means uh, if this stepper motor is at 140 degree so uh, if you click bring to reference it will um, move this stepper motor at clockwise and come back to its zero degree reference position right and the stop button is used to stop the um, whole loop right so first we have to calibrate this stepper motor then we will use that as, the, as a position control right so the stepper motor is at 36 degree almost right so we will give 360 degree minus 36 right? uh, so which will do auto which is exactly around uh, 30 uh, 24 degree right so 324 so we will give some angle over here so the set point angle is um, um, customized so that uh, it will give the angle multiple of 1.8 degree because our stepper motor resolution is 1.8 degree so you cannot give anything in between so it will increment at 1.8 degree right so you can directly give the angle so if you give any angle it will and you will, you will click uh, outside it will give you the precise angle near to that uh, digit right which will be multiple of 1.8 degree so almost 
3.2.2 you can achieve right instead of um, 3.33 so you can click on run button okay. now this stepper motor starts rotating <coughs> and you can see the real time movement of this stepper motor over here in the dial right now we are not uh, using it for our position control we are just calibrating it so we will first match it to zero degree then we will use it for position control system so another uh, 3.6 degree we need to align it to zero degree right so run it right so in this position our stepper motor pointer is aligned with the zero degree Right, in the dial so we can make this point as reference so if you click it uh, click on this button make it reference the um, dial will come back to zero position and this dial will come back to zero and the stepper motor will not move okay. it is only for the software right? so the stepper the program will remember it at zero degree right so click on make it reference Right. So both the uh, set point angle and the present angle is at zero degree right now. Now our stepper motor is calibrated. Now if you give any position, any angle to the set point uh, controller, the stepper motor will move up to that angle. Right. So let's say give forty five degree. Right. <coughs> so click on round button. Now you can see the stepper motor will rotate exactly 45 degrees. So it is open loop system. There is no feedback, no uh, encoder is used over there. So by counting the step size and the angle, we are just controlling its angle, right? So any position you can give it. So if you give 100 degrees, so if it is multiple of 120 degrees, it will uh, rotate up to 100 degrees, or it will rotate the nearest value up to nearest value of 100 degree which is uh, which will be a multiple of 1.8 degree right so this is 100.8 degree we cannot achieve 100 degree so we can achieve 100.8 degree because we are moving our stepper motor in full step mode so the minimum step size is uh, 1.8 degree so 100 degree cannot be achievable so 100 nearest value is 100.8 degree right so click on run button and the stepper motor will uh, move exactly up to 100.8 degree. Right? So this movement is in clockwise direction. That's why the direction is showing in clockwise direction. So uh, actually the pointer is moving anti-clockwise because of the dial, right? But uh, this clockwise direction is representing this pointer movement, right? So if you give any angle uh, in the uh, lower than this, so the motor will rotate at clockwise. I suppose 41.4 degree. So click on round button. Right. So it is showing only 41.4 degree. Right. And this is the indicator of the energization of the coils. So these are the coils A, B, C, D. You can see which coil is now energized. Right and the corresponding LED you can see over there in the hardware <coughs> right. so bring to reference means right now the position is at 41.4 degree if you click on print to reference it will uh, drive this type of motor to come back to its uh, zero degree right. so let's check in bring to reference right, so right now so it is at zero degree right. so, if you give any angle and the stepper motor will rotate okay so the speed of the stepper motor you can control on the um, block diagram so you can make a control for that in the front panel so that you can control this uh, speed right over here right so i have uh, give a fixed uh, speed that, that is the time delay between the duration that's why uh, the speed is fixed right so if you want to control the speed you can make a controller of that uh, time delay over the uh, front panel right so 
So if you see any uh, angle difference over the pointer on the dial, so this is because of the uh, mechanical adjustment of the uh, pointer and dial, right? It is not perfectly aligned in the, to the center. That's why you, you, you can experience some 0.5 degree or 0.1 degree difference. Otherwise, it will it is perfect if you align it perfectly at the center it will give you the exact value right so if the angle is same uh, and if you click on run button the stepper motor will not rotate right because the set point angle is uh, equal to the present angle so it will not move right actually the lab view remembers the angles so unless you close the lab view or unless you make any changes in the block diagram the lab view will remember that angle. So if you stop the lab view and start again, so it will remember that angle and it will you know, rotate uh, according to that. Right? So let's stop the VI. Right? And again, if you click on run button, it will remember that angle. Right? Right? So it is at now it is 108.108 degree. So if you click on the beam to reference, it will. Uh, bring the pointer within the pointer to zero degree, right? Because the lab will remember the uh, value, right? So, unless you close the uh, block diagram or front diagram, right? So, I have used uh, a step machine in the block diagram in the block diagram from program, right? To precisely control the and winding analyzer so i will share the uh, block diagram in the description you can see it right. so that's it that's the step on motor position control using lab view so any position you can give uh, to mm, any position you can keep from the front panel this left and step or motor will rotate up to that angle and it will stop so in the next video i will try to show you how we can use step or motor to rotate back and forth to control the robotics arm right like so it will repeat any action repeatedly right so that will i will try to show you in the next video right so, so, thank you for watching my video. Bye.